I'm here with so, Thomas Sherman from uh, Proportion and uh, Frederick Klaas. Um, and Frederick, which, which organisation? What, what's, it's Micro Water Facility is your organisation, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I, I, I've, I've kind of really interested in, in like how you decided to work together and, and how that came about and, and uh, sort of what, because, um, yeah, so tell me a bit about that. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it, it started with a dinner, a lunch in the <laughs> restaurant De Kas. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I was completely confused afterwards because Allard arranged the dinner, uh, the lunch, sorry, and, uh, and I really didn't know proportion. And when Thomas started explaining what proportion did, I was like, uh, okay, so what? And uh, it took, really took me a couple of months uh, because it kept me busy in my mind, you know. And, and I thought, Allard linked us both together and he always do, does things like that with a purpose. But I couldn't see the purpose, you know. I was yeah. like, this is just a lens. <laughs> I have the same thing with you. Jeroen van der Sommen does that as well with me. Right. It's like, yeah, there's it's always like, a reason. Yeah, there's always you a reason. You can't have to work it out. <laughs> and I, it took me two months to work it out. And then I, 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 I really start to, to puzzle and to think, Okay, you know, this project we want to do in Bangladesh is really about customer insights, you know, what yeah. do the people want? And I'm not, I'm not the guy with all the background and all the creativity that Thomas has in, has in his organization. So there was the link. Yeah. So Thomas, so what's it, what's it been like working on this? And, and is this helping you take forward your ideas about how to approach these kind of things? Absolutely. We need uh, projects uh, like this, like Sujol that Frederick uh, incubates. And this is a great first project, hopefully, uh, to build our uh, partnership. And it's great that the consortium is really built out of complementary organizations. It's not only uh, Michael Water Facility in Proportion, but a very important part is DAM, which is the Dhaka and Shania mission, yeah. the local NGO in Bangladesh. Yeah. And they but were chosen. Like yourself, but yeah. well, they were chosen really <coughs> carefully, weren't they? It was a, it was a very, you know, it was a serious decision. That this is where Iqbal Kadir helped us a lot. You know, Iqbal Kadir is on our board of advisors. Yeah. And Iqbal, he's you know born and raised in Bangladesh. And, you know, he established, he raised uh, Grameen telephones over there, and he sold it. So he knows Bangladesh quite well. And he said, uh, you know, guys, you have to work with a very entrepreneurial NGO, but not too big, not too big and not too small. And, you know, and then them came out yeah. as the right partner. Yeah. So, um, Thomas, we were talking before about the role that NGOs play um, in developing socially oriented business models. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, one of the th you, you said something to me that I hadn't, really thought of before which is that many NGOs engage with with business and corporates as a defensive measure because they need to find new sources of funds right. um, but you said there's a different approach where NGOs engage with business in a way where they're helping to forge socially oriented businesses yeah. and just tell me I a bit about there that. There is a great great opportunity for NGOs if they realize the, the strength they have and the value of that uh, the strength is that they have access to communities. They know them in and out. And the, the challenge is to translate community insights into business opportunities. Uh, if you look at it from the other side, um, if a company wants to realize or implement a social business, it all starts with community-centric innovation, understanding the community insights and translating those into a business opportunity. Yeah. So that's exactly where they can meet each other. Yeah. So an NGO should not think of uh, uh, a relationship with a corporate to get some money. No, they should really think of their value they can contribute to businesses and get paid for it. So yeah. it's about really rethinking their own, their own business model yeah. and their own value proposition. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a huge potential and that's what DOM actually now is really uh, yeah, getting to valorize. We are teaming up and that's where the proportion part lies in. Um, we facilitate the process of gaining insights and translating them into business opportunities. Yeah. And hopefully, by doing so, we also train and, and, and vision them of the value they have. Hopefully, them will exploit that vision and, and, and 
expertise in other projects yeah. outside yeah. um, Sujo or outside the relationship we have with yeah. our consortium. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so just f finally, f I mean, Frederick, with, with Sujo, what, it's March the 7th, 2012. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what for you over the next few months and over this year will define success or failure? Um, it's funny how you say success and failure because the two are very linked together. Um, the success will be if we have uh, the first uh, plant up and running in about six weeks. You know, at the end of April, I think we will be there. Um, and if we can taste the water then, and the water is good, and the production is good, and it all looks fine, uh, the second thing we need to do is uh, to build two other devices in two separate areas. And we want to do that before uh, July, June, July. And then we will have a period of six months where these three devices will work together. You know, it will work for a longer time, yeah. six months. And we will test more for the long run if the production is still uh, good, efficient, effective, and that the wastewater can be treated in a way that's very sustainable and cost-wise efficient. If we've accomplished that at the end of this year, uh, the project will be a success. Yeah. And the biggest failure would be if, uh, well, my, my biggest concern is that uh, the consortium will uh, have a fight or a quarrel or whatever, cannot work together. Because as long as this consortium works together and we do our homework, you know, and we do the things we're doing uh, the right way, uh, the chance of a failure is, uh, is not that big. Yeah. Great. Well, good to talk to you both. Thanks a lot. And uh, look forward to the, the journey continuing. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Mark.